For one second, mom. What was my first year at camp? I, I'm bad at small math. My name's Aaron Burroughs. The first time I ever was on a sleepaway camp was in 1994. I was eight years old, and the last time I was on uh, an actual sleepaway camp, at, I was, I want to say, 22. Obviously, when you exist with something for that long, then you're, you're predisposed to, to kind of embodying the essence of camp. My experience has changed over the years. However, what camp provides is, in my opinion, integral and crucial for humans in their own progression in everyday aspects of contemporary modern life. Let's say summer camp is associated with the summertime and vacation and the lack of responsibility. Camp for me was kind of uh, the 360 of, of everything. Whether I was eight years old, you know, climbing on the climbing wall, or I was 20 years old getting the the eight-year-old all snug in their harness before climbing the wall. The feelings I felt were really similar. I think what's most important is the takeaway you get of self-exploration at camp. And I think that in itself has to be achieved before one can become a great leader. You have the freedom to explore who you are at an age when you're, all you want to do is like what these kids in the background are doing. Like swan dive, I'm going to blow up dolphin 17 times in a row. When you take the parents away in a controlled environment as a kid, I was eight years old, and, I, and you don't remember a lot of things. I'm 31 now, and there's one thing I remember vividly when I was eight was homesickness. I think it was something like I, I couldn't find, I had no socks anywhere, and they were all over the place. I was just like, what am I doing? And the idea of homesickness settled in there. The emotion is the most palpable thing. So if you have something that is a revelation for yourself, in this case, it was the idea that I was no longer going to be with my parents, that they weren't around to help for real. And I had no control over that. All of this stuff really stems back to a time period that's forming in life. And, and working and going to camp, I saw both. Shed some things as a kid that you are not capable of doing, not because you can't, but you just don't have to capability to do it any other way right now in a controlled safe environment so after I got over the whole the whole idea of you know that that sense of security and understanding that you're, it's camp you know you know like seriously you're gonna have a good time like relax and you end up having the greatest time ever because you forge bonds with everyone kids going through this, that the same way you're being led by our youth of America so to speak 19 and 20 early 20s and the idea is you know it, it is the off of the the curriculum school. So what you have is kids exploring who they are as a human and being provided with the encouragement and that builds a confident person. One basic sense is when you're at camp, you have the freedom to be silly because at camp you start doing things that are so absurd that they naturally affect the same parts of your brain that are adjacent to that that makes people scared of standing up in front of people and speaking or um, who they are, you know, insecurities. So what camp does is it allows kids to identify these things on their own. Maybe they're, they're not even cognizant of it or conscious, but it doesn't really matter because it's in a setting that is so empowering and so amazing that by the time the summers end, when I was eight, I was weeping because I didn't want to leave that same summer. You, know, you cry at the beginning as a kid because you're there. You cry at the end because you don't want to leave, you know. It sheds any wall when you see others around you and you're in an environment that is completely foreign. For example, insecurities or who you are, self-discovery and confidence, right? Camp doesn't just allow kids to identify them on their own, which they do. Um, they actually go with it the other way. They empower it and they make it like best thing about you would probably be the thing that you were worried about most before you went to camp. It, it, they empower the different people, you know what I mean? And, it, and by different, it's not even different. It's just allowing people to be themselves and who they really are. Uh, and also letting them know that it's okay to be silly and ridiculous and all the good things. Integral. It's integral to everything because once you leave camp as a camper, if you're in your 19 and early 20s, you're still on the same path of self-identity and you're still, you're just in the first stage of the rest of your life, let's say. When you are a camp counselor, 
Other than the obvious things that everyone you ask around who's never been to camp or who has and doesn't talk about that much, uh, it's easy, easy job. That's, oh, that must be real tough. You know, you're gonna go party with your friends as a counselor, Co summertime, college, go hang out. <laughs> okay, yes, obviously all of the fun things exist, but for those viewers out there, please live your life, have fun too, and don't worry if sometimes that comes with you know, vocational and intellectual benefit. One of my counselors, I choose becoming a teacher. Go, you go to school for it, you know, and we had, and I just come on the spot. It was raining, we wanted to do like a run and dip thing, which is this big game at camp, and I needed to get the counselors and the campers ready. So in total, the group at the time was like 50 counselors and like 100, 100 kids. I just jumped up on the, it was raining out, we had to do it, and I got everyone to come in. I jumped up on these picnic tables, and we talked about what we were going to do and got people involved and it was a great time. But the person, this counselor came up to me afterwards and said that I had employed like two or three things that they teach specifically at school to teach kids and in the way that you speak and, and, and with the counselors. That was a nice moment I remembered because it tells me how important it is to be at camp. I work for a massive, um, a, a big company. I've given big presentations in front of senior executives for like our, our largest client to pitch a contract for the International Olympic Committee for the Olympics in Rio. And you know, part of what I had to do for that is one little work story was you know, I had to go to Travel Affiliate and talk to the caterers for the Olympic athletes. And so we had groups and we gave presentations and it was also like a little mini competition. And uh, my group won out of like 180 people. Four top rows are panelists who are the risk, senior risk management of the caterer, which is the largest in the globe. You know, they wanted me to start everything off and a lot of it was, you know, I had no problem and it was nice, but I think about camp in this moment, I mean, jumping on the, the top of the, um, picnic table to lead like this rainy day activity. One thing that after we won I was told was that every group had cards, note cards, and this is really little slight little things. I was the only person in the whole presentation not to use any, just to speak. If you want to take the time to really dig into that, it, it equates to camp and everything, not just this way I spoke, because we didn't have note cards in the rain. Um, and it's, it's just being comfortable with who you are always and confident in your voice. I equate so much of that to being a counselor at camp and having to like solve bigger issues. You took cap it off at work right now actually. The last minute I was able to get time to speak to some somebody at a very high level and the, the purpose was me for to talk about what, what am I going to be doing in life and, and obviously applicable to what I was doing at the company. Being a camp person I realized in this moment I, it was just a perfect storm that, of me saying you know what what am I doing? My whole life I've always been standing on the picnic table. This person is a person that I got to speak with. They gave me 30 minutes. You'd never get time with people. And I ended up talking to him for two hours in this moment. And this happened a few months ago. And what I was doing, which I'd never done before, was pure and total 100% honesty. No bureaucratic formality, nothing, not anything to, to, to curb or hide who I am as a person because if he's a true leader, then he'll recognize that, and to which he was, because I think people are, and our great leaders are these people, they're canned people. He said, you're a good person, this is exactly what he said, you're a good person, we have a place for you here, I can help you get a job elsewhere, is even what he said, which was ludicrous. We're here now, right now, as you film this, celebrating, just a little relaxing, because in a week I start my new position, which was created for me, and it's a position within my company that is, is me, which, and I'm, I'm, my job is now, I'm a customer solutions analyst for the globe, everywhere, all the seasons. Um, and I did that all because I am a camp person and because, you know, I, I was able to just confidently say what I wanted to and be who I wanted to be.